lot of fun. They both have passionate people behind them that are interested in doing something the right way. I mean, every aspect of aviation has those on the out, outer fringe. And our purpose, and especially the Flight School Association, our purpose has always been the safe and proper operation of aviation. Even though aviation has been around for a lot of, a lot of years, and now drones being something new into it, there's still those that will try to do something you know, improperly. I mean, we've all seen the YouTube videos of somebody flying over a landing commercial aircraft. First of all, stupid. They deserve everything they get. And I don't think there's anybody in here that would disagree with that. The difference being is, is you know, the swarm method. I mean, what an awesome idea. And when you have something like that, I mean, if we had something like that in general aviation, why? Why don't we? I mean, I, I cannot applaud him more. I mean, that is just yeah. an incredible thing that you do. And thank you very much. I can't say enough about that. And I personally want to become a part of it. And I expect a lot of other people. My wife is actually in process of opening a store, repair, education. Uh, the vice president of Fasana is also doing the same thing in New Jersey. So this is something that we're not just giving uh, lip service to. This is something we want to get involved in. This is something that we admire what you guys do. We want to learn from what you guys do, and I'm sure the same works both ways. Uh, if we can do this properly and do the training and the teaching, about seven or eight years ago, I came up with a program that came right out of my flight school, who, which now is nationally uh, recognized, and it's called AeroCamp. There are some flyers over there. AeroCamp starts at generally the age 10 or 12 years old. All right, we're teaching general aviation here. We're not even talking in the drone industry. We're talking about a full sail aircraft and trying to create what, you know, when you talk to our, our forefathers, those that were, were flying in the 40s and 50s, it was a different era. You go out and hang out at the airport. It became part of your lifestyle. Now with TSA's regulations and fences, and it becomes very difficult. So therefore, a flight school must become that door that avenue that allows people in. And that's what I see you guys doing with drones. You're taking a lot of the rumors, a lot of the false stories, a lot of the hype and what have you that is out there and trying to not only disprove it, but make sure it doesn't happen ever or ever gets repeated. And that's something I cannot, I mean, what, what Dave and Sarah are doing here as far as the, using this kind of a platform to get this word out to the public, I don't know if you guys know it or not, but do you have any idea what the largest single Christmas gift was last Christmas? Now, with that being known, think how many are sitting in the closet just waiting to come out. <laughs> About time we get involved, not just the flight school associates, but yourselves and self-governing, to teach students. Our AeroCamp program we've done with kids for a lot of years. There will be a rollout coming up pretty soon, and it's called AeroDrone. It's not simply going to be, it's, it's a, creating a new generation where drones are just another tool in the aviation platform. I mean, there is no difference between this, my training aircraft, or Citation. We're all under the same rules, same guidelines. We want to know, you know, we want your input. We want to help you with any input we can. Uh, we're used to dealing with the FAA. Uh, it's something new to you guys to a certain degree. Anything that we can do to help, any way we can be a liaison to help, to, to educate not only ourselves, but also to help you. That's why we're here. When the Flight School Association brought drones into our last conference, and then when I heard what David and Sarah were doing with this day, I just had to be here. This is something that we will be a part of, hopefully for a long, long time. Any questions? How many flight schools do you have with you right now? Uh, there are currently about 1,600 flight schools in the nation. Unfortunately, due to various reasons, uh, that number is dwindling probably since I've started talking. Um, <laughs> that's the problem with it. We need to educate the public in aviation in general. Yes, 9-11 scared the heck out of everybody, including us. None of us want to be the next one to train the next possible terrorist. None of you guys want to be the next to sell or train somebody that's actually going to use these for evil. 
we want this to be something that is, it's a tool. Like anything else in aviation, it's a tool. You guys look at it as a great platform to do your photography. We look at it as a great aircraft that happens to have a camera on it. Mm -hmm. Same thing. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Appreciate it.